The disastrous flood brought by Typhoon Ondoy has awakened us. It brought fear. But it also brought enlightenment. It taught us to care more for our environment and to start considering the alarming state of our waterways. Various programs launched by the government and non-government organizations seek solution to address the appalling condition of the bodies of water in the country. Such a program is the ADAPT and Estero program launched by Secretary Ramon J. P. Pahe of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, in 2010. The program is a collaborative undertaking among the Estero communities, private entities, local government units, other government agencies, and the DENR. The Adopt and Estero program uh, is a result of uh, the Mandamus Order of the Supreme Court last uh, 2008, uh, directing not only the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, but other government agencies as well as local government units to clean up Manila Bay. At uh, napag-usapan po namin dito na kung hindi namin lilinisin ang uh, mga esteros sa mga tributaries na dumadaloy papunta sa Manila Bay, hindi po namin malilinis sa Manila Bay. Ang Adapt and Estero ng programa ng Department of Environment and Natural Resources ay sinimulan po ni Secretary Ramon J. P. Pahe nung siya po ay uh, nagsimulang manungkulan bilang uh, kalihim ng DNR. Um, sa kasalukuyan, we have around 210 a memoranda of agreement that we have entered into throughout the country. Itong uh, Diliman Creek po na inadapt ng Philippine Mine Safety and Environment Association, kapartneran po natin dito ang LGU sa katauhan ni Mayor uh, Herbert Bautista at ang Sagip Ilog, uh, Ilog uh, Pilipinas Movement uh, with uh, Ms. Met Jimenez. Uh, kasama rin po natin yung mga 33 barangays na dinadaanan po nitong Diliman Creek and uh, of course, kung may mga NGOs area, kasama din po sila. The Diliman Creek is a major tributary of the Pasig River. It extends 17 kilometers from Barangay Pansol all the way to Barangay Rojas, where it drains into the San Juan River, which connects to the Pasig River, emptying into the Manila Bay. The Diliman Creek and its tributaries traverse 33 barangays in Quezon City. PEMSEA adopted the Diliman Creek under the Adopt and Estero program of DENR. The Philippine Mining Safety and Environment Association was an organization of uh, mining companies, uh, cement plants and aggregates companies, as well as uh, professional organizations involved in the promotion of uh, the best practices in safety, health and environment, as well as social development. Uh, we got involved with the um, uh, pro program of the uh, Department of Environment and Natural Resources to the Environmental Management Bureau in the ADAPT Astero program, which we believe is a very good initiative by the EMB. And uh, as an organization whose expertise in, is in environmental management and protection, we feel that we can have a good share of our best practices to share in the metropolis. And uh, in November of 2010, we had our first initial signing 
of the Mall with the DNR Secretary Ramon Paje. And eventually during the Earth Day event at the Mega Mall, we did another signing together with the Mayor of Quezon City, Mayor Herbert Bautista, as well as with the Sagip Ilog Pilipinas Movement. We have started uh, donating some implements in the cleanup operations and as part of the sustaining and awareness program, we did um, supported a mural painting contest among the 33 barangays that are part of the Diliman Creek. The Philippine Mine Safety and Environment Association will continue to support the ADAPT Estero program of the Environment Man and Management Bureau the Department of Environment Natural Resources, and we will continue to do more activities together with the Sabigip Ilog Pilipinas Movement and with the other organization committed to preserve the environment and clean our waterways. The Save the Liman Creek program is an intensive campaign to reduce the volume of garbage and pollution along the urban waterways communities of the creek. It is a partnership among the basic stakeholders, the community, the local government units, other government agencies, and the private sector. The Sagip Ilug Pilipinas Movement is an advocate of community-based waste management projects, which is the heart of the rehabilitation efforts to save the Diliman Creek. Ito pong Diliman Creek ay tinatawag nating nasa kataasan at pababa ito hanggang dito sa may San Juan River papunta sa Pasig. Napakahalaga ng papel ng mga tao na nagbubuklod-buklod upang ito ay maisaayos. Sapagkat ang Diliman Creek po, ay magko-contribute sa tinatawag nating uh, daluyang tubig patungo sa San Juan, patungo sa Pasig. At uh, ninanais ng Sagip Ilog Pilipinas Movement na palawakin ang uh, partisipasyon ng mga pamayanan at patatagin din ang mga sistemang ipinasaayos nila sa kanilang mga gawain sa kailugan at sa mga daluyang tubig na to. Pangunahin dito ang pagsasaayos ng mga basura sa mga bahay-bahay, uh, ang pagtingin sa mga uh, pamayanan na merong nagbubuga uh, ng mga lason na tubig sa ating mga daluyang tubig. Ano? At uh, sana maunawaan ng lahat na ang pagsasaayos ng Diliman Creek ay pagsasaayos din ng uh, uh, kalidad ng pag-uugali ng pamayanan. In the implementation of the program, key activities are being undertaken with the active participation of the barangays. Information and education campaign through leafletting or flyering and regular fora are conducted in the communities to discuss the dire state of the environment and the efforts to rehabilitate it. PEMSEA donated cleaning implements to all its adopted 33 barangays during this year's Earth Day celebration. Orchestrated cleanup of the esteros every fourth Sunday of the month are conducted by the members of the community. Alinis Estero Seminar to Barangay Captains and Kagawads of the 33 barangays were organized by PEMSEA and the EMB DENR. Launching of competitions like the Mural Painting Contest last June 2011 that aimed to boost the morale and spirit of the members of the communities. With the theme, Sama Sama Tayo Tungo Sa Malinis Na Katubigan At Nunti Ang Kapaligiran, the Mural Painting Contest tried to engage the different barangays along the Diliman Creek. And most importantly, ensuring that each barangay has the capacity to sustain the cleanup initiative through the Community-Based Environmental Enterprises, or CBEE. Its main trust is to drastically reduce garbage, 
and divert large volume of biodegradable materials for compost production and non-biodegradable materials for recycling or reuse. The collective efforts of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Philippine Mine Safety and Environment Association, Sagip Ilog Pilipinas Movement, Quezon City Government, and most especially, the 33 barangays and their constituents show that much can be done and accomplished in saving our environment, particularly our waterways. Sama-sama tayo! Sama-sama tayo! Sama-sama tayo! Sama-sama tayo! Sama-sama tayo! Sama-sama po tayo tungo sa malinis na katubigan at luntiang kapaligiran. Sama-sama tayo!